Hi, in this video, I want to give you some information about ways to solve percent problems that might make the whole process easier for you. So in general, there are three kinds of percent problems. First, what is 80% of 200 is one type. 80 is what percent of 200 is a second type. And 200 is 80% of what number. Now, if we go by arithmetic methods, each one of these is going to have a completely different method. For example, if I want to do the first one by arithmetic, all I have to do is write the 80% as 0.80 and multiply that by 200, and I get the answer 160. If I want to find 80 is what percent of 200? I have to do 80 divided by 200, get the decimal, 0.40, multiply by 100 to get 40%. And the third way, 200 is 80% of what number would be 200 divided by 0.80 is 250. So one time you multiply, one time you divide, but then you have to multiply by 100, and in another time, you have to divide by the percent. So that can be a little bit confusing if these are the methods that you use. So let's talk about how you can do it as a proportion. Now, the percent proportion that you use is going to be the percent is always written over 100. And the part is always written over the whole. Now, to identify the part in the whole, you're going to look for the word is, and sometimes you'll see the word was if it's past tense. And here, it's going to be the number after of. So you'll see me refer to this as percent out of 100 equals is over of. And we'll use that proportion the same way every time to solve these three problems. So let's redo these problems, but we'll use the percent proportion to do it. So number one, percent over 100 equals is and after of. So notice that what is attached to the is. What is, we don't know, so we'll call that x. Here's my percent, and here's my after of. And of is always going to be in front. Now the is may be front or behind, but the of will all be, always be in front of the number. So 80 out of 100 is x over 200. And for all proportions, we cross multiply. It doesn't matter which ones you do first, as long as you go top to bottom, top to bottom. So I'm going to get 16,000 equals 100 x, divide both sides by 100, and we get 160, just like we did when we used arithmetic. Now the second one, we're going to do the same way. We're going to do percent over 100 equals is over of, and this time look where the word what is. Put my x with the percent. So I'm going to put x over 100 equals 80 because, look, that's attached near the word is. And the after of is 200. So we're going to cross multiply top to bottom, top to bottom, in either order, 200 x equals 
and I don't need that equal sign, 200x equals 8,000, zero, 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 equals 8,000. Divide both sides by 200. And grab my calculator. 8,000 divided by 200 is 40. So x equals 40. The same thing we got here. Now remember, this is percent unknown, so we have to write our percent symbol. So 40%. Same answer, be sure you write percent in your answer. And the third one, 20 is 80% of what number? So percent over 100 equals is over of, and so we know the percent, our percent is 80%, so I'm going to put 80 over 100, then I'm going to look for is and of. So 200 is with the is and of, and the x is after of. So 200 over x. Using the same method for proportions, I get 80x equals 20,000, because I've got one, two, three, four zeros, divide by 80. So x is 20,000 divided by 80, and we get the answer 250. And so using arithmetic, notice we got 250. So once again, we get the correct answer using a different method. But look at these methods. In every case, I cross multiplied and divided. I cross multiplied and divided. I cross multiplied and divided. So this may help you to simplify how to solve percent problems. Now, sometimes it's not as straightforward as these little questions. You may have to dig around into the problem and write your own question about what they are asking for, but it will be in one of these three formats. And you'll see that as I work examples from the Consumer Math 1 and Consumer Math 2 homework assignments.